spiritual practice that is dear to my heart is tied to this book right here. It's actually a journal, but it's titled Thankful Every Day, Blessed Beyond Measure. And we all know there is so much going on in the world and it can be so easy to find ourselves gripped with all kinds of negative emotions that can truly just rob us of joy, that truly can rob us of, of any thankfulness that we might have within us. Well, one of the things that, have, that has helped me, especially during this time, is keeping this gratitude journal. And what I do is every morning before I even get out of bed, I think of at least three things that I'm thankful for that happened the day before. And what I found in doing this is that I end up identifying things that may not seem as important, things that could easily be taken for granted. Like, for instance, a classmate inviting me to go walk with them, and we ended up having an encouraging uh, talk. And so I believe that when we posture ourselves with an attitude of, as they say, gratitude, it really just ministers to our soul. And it reminds us that no matter what's going on in this world, God is God. And God loves us. And God is for us, even in the little things. And something else that this journal has helped me to realize is, first of all, that it grounds me in what's really important. That no matter what I feel, what I think, what I see, no matter what the news is saying, no matter what is happening in our communities, there is always something to be grateful for. And so I think it is very important that we take time to know exactly how much we have to be thankful for. And it's interesting because this you may hear a lot around the Thanksgiving holiday. But really, this heart, this attitude of gratitude should be ongoing, especially for us as children of God. And so that is one of my spiritual practices. And uh, one of the things that I like to do is I challenge myself to never repeat the same thing. And I challenge myself not to um, identify something that is the obvious, you know, like that is going to be definitely something that I'm thankful for every day, like having breath in my lungs. While, yes, I'm very thankful that I'm alive, I'm well, I'm breathing on my own. That's a blessing, especially in today's time. But I know God sustains me and is, is doing that every day. So I try to look at some different things. And what I found is that God is always doing something. There is something always happening in my life to make me grateful. Grateful to be alive. Grateful to be in relationship. Grateful for what God is doing within me. One of the things that God has been able to do with me that I recorded in my journal during the shelter in place was renewing my mind. I had some negative old paradigms that had to be shifted. And so I was able to identify that. And so I'm just thankful for this journal because even as I go back and, and read it, and that's something else I think is key to this practice is going back to, to see all the things that you're thankful for. Um, and it just amazes me just how much we really have to be thankful for.